Hello everybody, I am Professor Lego and what do we have today? Today we are going to use our mind to control a robotic hand. That's right, we're going to use this headset, read the brain waves coming out of my head and control this hand, open and close it. How much cooler can you get than a robotic hand controlled by a brain? Just think about that. Let's take a close look at this technology and see how it really works. The reason why we gotta take everything off of our head is because we have to use this. This is a neurosky. This is gonna measure our brain waves. Yes, brain waves. So, in order to put this on, you put it on just like this, on, and you get this little sensor. It's a voltmeter. If all those engineers out there know what a voltmeter is, you'll know what this is. That voltmeter is going to measure voltage readings off of my forehead. They're going to link to brain waves. Okay? So it makes my hair look amazing, doesn't it? And then you take this little clip, you put it on your ear, that gets you your pulse as well. Okay? This NeuroSky is going to read my mind. Not really. It's just really going to read the brain waves coming off of my forehead. So now that we have this working, we're going to connect it to this iPad via Bluetooth. And we have this app called the Orbit app. We're starting to get signal here. I'm going to put this real close so that everybody can see. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a signal. Let's get the glare off. I'm getting a signal. That's a signal coming from the headset to the iPad itself. When I see attention and meditation, that's my attention, my meditation. So you can see the bars going up and down. And I could do simple math. So let's do 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 12 plus 4 equals 16. So you can see my meditation, or my attention is going up and down. Now it's not very good to be controlling this right now while I'm trying to record. So I'm trying to pay attention, I'm trying to meditate, but I'm doing a horrible job because I'm trying to record at the same time. This is sending a signal to this Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is going to send a signal to the servo that's in the wrist of the hand. Once I set a signal, there it goes. So, as soon as I concentrate enough, I hit my limits, the hand will close. So you can see the hand itself is closing based on the servo, based on my attention. So if my attention is hitting the limits, if it's not hitting the limit, if the red bar is not hitting the limit or the goal that I set for it, then the hand will open. So if I do my attention exercises, and I do 2 plus 2, there it starts going. My red bar will go large enough to allow the hand to then close. Okay, so there it starts going again. So now, if you practice with this, and you set goals for yourself, you can control this hand voluntarily based on the level of attention that you give it. So, if I look at the hand and I say, control, close, Close, close. It stays closed because I'm paying a lot of attention to it itself, right? So it's, it has no reflection of whether or not I'm thinking of it. But while I'm thinking about having this closed, my attention is so locked into it that the bar goes up, it meets my goal, and it closes the hand. This is amazing stuff, guys. This is a $50 robotic hand with with all this with all this electronics already all this stuff that's on this table besides the iPad and the NeuroSky besides that we're under $50 let's look over here and I'll show you the list of the components that we bought this hand is 3D printed I printed it using a PLA plastic probably a fourth of a spool, so it's around five, but we'll give it an estimate of $10. The servo itself was around 12. The Nano and the shield that came with it, I used Banggood 
um, com, which is a straight from China, direct from China website. And you can get this Nano, I think it's around seven to eight, uh, seven to twelve dollars. The miscellaneous cords and screws is probably another maybe four bucks, ten bucks. Now this NeuroSky itself is a hundred dollars, but I use this for other purposes. My wife has a neurofeedback company, and we use this with the helicopter for demonstration purposes to show that you can control something with your brain given the right exercises. The, I wanted to create this as a secondary item that we could have at those shows to show people that you can control something with your brain. So let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it to wave at you, okay? So I'm gonna concentrate, and then unconcentrate, and then concentrate. Come on. And then unconcentrate. So now I'm waving at you with a robotic hand, and think of all the things that you can do with this. You can see easily that the fingers are well controlled. The servo is working really well. The strings are a little, little, uh, a little slack in the strings so that the hand doesn't close 100%. But you can see the purpose of this hand. You can, you know, for $50, you can, you can easily create something that is for a paraplegic or for somebody that needs a robotic hand. Um, a lot of friends of mine keep saying that I need to put it in the drawer of a friend so that whenever they open it up and they're trying to find what, what that noise is, that they see this robotic can come out of the drawer. So you can easily do some fun things, if you will, with magic type tricks or, or just tricks in general. This app you can get from the iTunes store or you can get from any of your Arduino type stores. Uh, it's called Orbit. I use it on my phone. Uh, we couldn't use the phone for this particular application. I'm not exactly sure why, but the iPad works really well. And you can see the bars as well, which is very important. Showing somebody that you can that you can see their attention or their meditation is really key for demonstrating how this thing works. So let's get into the details. So what this is, is a voltmeter. That voltmeter is creating a sine wave of my brain waves. Those sine waves are going in to the iPad. The iPad is re-synthesizing re those brain waves into different aspects. So it can determine what my attention level is. It can determine what my meditation level is. So am I calm or am I stressed out, right? You'll see that on the blue line. So once I hit my goal, it creates this other signal that's sending a audio audio signal out of the iPad. That audio output is going into the the Arduino Nano. I have a program in there so that whenever there's an audio output of the iPad, it equates that to a signal to the servo and says, "Servo, go ahead and close as much as you need to." So there's many ways to improve on this. You can see that the signal, the hover signal, is actually a variable. So if you can figure out a way to calculate how much of an audio signal there is, then you can actually control, fine tune how much of an open and how much of a close the hand is itself. So there's multiple improvements that you can make off of this. This 3D printed hand was made by a kid on Thingiverse, and he's using this for his senior, high school senior project, I believe, and trying to get into some science fairs and get it into a college based on this design. There's multiple other designs on just even Thingiverse alone. Let's jack that up. There's multiple other designs on Thingiverse alone. There's all kinds of different textures of the fingers or even the way they look. You can make it more robotic looking. You could get it more human looking. There's many different ways to improve on this. So what's next on this? I really could improve this if I wanted to go into the prosthetics business and try to make something, you know, at $100-ish range. Um, for me, that's not where I'm at. I would really hope that somebody takes this kind of technology and goes further with it. I agree with all that. I agree that everybody that needs a, a prosthetic hand should have a prosthetic hand. 
But I made this video for you to understand that you can do this yourself. I printed this with a 3D printer on my house. The printer was $400. The, the material here, as you saw, all this, all this stuff here is 50 bucks, right? $50, okay? You, instead of the iPad, you can have an iPhone or whatever device, another phone that you can have in your pocket. I did it to prove a point. I wanted to see if I could control a robotic hand with my mind. And I've proven that I can using this setup. Brain technology is a never ending amount of discovery. And if you're a, a small kid that wants to be a scientist when they grow up, look at the brain. Nobody understands it right now. So what should you take away? Two things. If you want to make something, go make something. This is something I wanted to make. I had no idea what to do. I had no idea what the first step was. And I just started making something. That's the best way to gain knowledge. It's the best way to figure something out. Go fail. This is probably the 146th version of this circuitry. Okay? I failed at least 100 times as I went through all the steps that I needed to in order to get this to work. There is nothing better than going and doing something 140 times and then on the 146th time, it works. That's amazing. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Well, thanks again, everybody, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something, and I hope I inspire you to go make something. That would make me feel really good. And then include a picture or some sort of link down below in the comments below of things that you've created that you find that I would might find interesting. I'm always interested in sharing what I made versus what somebody else made. Or maybe you created this exact same setup. If you did, leave a link down below showing me what you did and maybe you improved it. Tell me about it. I want to hear about it. I want to see all the things that you make. If you like this, please give us a comment and give us a thumbs up. And that way we can create more of these videos and show you more technologies in either the brain world or in some other futuristic technology. If you have recommendations of other th technologies you want to see us build, leave a comment down below as well. I would re really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.